What happens when a star like Amitabh Bachchan lends his voice to a struggling actor played by Dhanush? Well, that is kind of the storyline of the upcoming movie Shamitabh, but the actors will reveal a little more. We caught up with them at the press conference of Shamitabh at the Ritz Carlton DIFC. Let's take you straight to the interview. <laughs> cast of Shamitab here and very happy to welcome Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, Akshara Hassan and Thanush to Z Connect. Welcome to Dubai guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Sir, you've been in the past two uh, Balki Sir's movies, both Chini Kam and Pa and now Shamitab. What is it about his scripts that uh, you find so convincing? He has a different way of making films, thinking. His thoughts are different. They are very unique and that's really uh, the fascination that uh, we keep working together. Mm. Also, I'm really happy that he keeps repeating me in all his films. Mm. Uh, uh, it's, it's tough getting a job at this age, so <laughs> Balki is one person that I can rely on. Mm. Um, and I know that if he comes across something interesting, he will mm. bring, it, uh, bring it across to me. So yes, those are the reasons. Uh, is it true that you did record the movie before yeah. it got shot? Yeah. I'm, I'm giving my voice to Dhanush in the film. Right. So um, we had to, uh, Balki asked me to record the entire film first. Mm. So we recorded it, then we played it back while shooting it and we performed to it. And thereafter we, sh we dubbed again because uh, we had different facial expressions so they need to okay. be matched with, uh, with uh, recordings. Mm. Uh, well, Akshara, welcome to Bollywood. This is your Bollywood debut. Is this the perfect Bollywood debut platform you could have asked for? I'm actually honoured to have gotten this opportunity and I'm really happy that I got this opportunity. Mm. And I feel happy is an understatement. <laughs> so I'm honoured and I'm really thankful that I got this opportunity. And uh, Balkis actually spotted you outside in editing studio. Is that true? It was yes. a very casual meet. Yeah, yeah actually uh, I had finished uh, editing for an ad film. Mm. Um, and I, I, I had just finished, so I was heading back home and I didn't realize he saw me and I was really tired and I wanted to just get back home. So mm -hmm. uh, we met much later after that. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is true. Brilliant. Dhanush, well, you are a national award winner yourself, but when you heard the script and when you got to know uh, you're sharing screen space with Mr. Bachchan, was it even slightly intimidating to you? No, n uh, not at all. I rather looked at it as a great opportunity to learn from the best. and. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a great script and a great script, I mean, uh, to find a good script is a task by itself, mm. you know, I had to wait about for eight months uh, to get the right second, uh, after Ranjana, after Ranjana, to get the right script, uh, uh, it should suit me. There were some brilliant scripts, but uh, I was not good enough for them, but, and, uh, and uh, I, I waited and then I, I'm glad I waited mm. and then came uh, Shamitab and uh, Add to that, I mean, uh, after that, when uh, Balki said, uh, Amit, you would be doing uh, uh, the film, I was, re my mind went blank for a bit. And <laughs> then uh, I was like, okay, there's a great opportunity, mm, mm. you know, to, uh, like a short term course. Just mm. go quickly, learn how much ever possible and right. get back. There's actually a very interesting scene in the trailer where you have your face uh, painted as the Joker. So, uh, could you tell us a little about that? What is it a part of the script or impromptu? Yeah, I, actually I can't. You can't? <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. No problem. Uh, but it, it was uh, fascinating to see myself in the mirror at, mm. uh, as a joke. I mean, uh, uh, I think Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker is one of the best performances ever. Absolutely. And uh, uh, I remember walking out of the theatre uh, uh, in disbelief that a guy could perform like this I, I, I'm, and not go insane. Right. Uh, it, it, it's. Uh, 
amazing and uh, any actor would have thought like you know how i would have done it and to see myself as what i am i'm not saying i could have done even 1% of what he did i'm just saying to see myself as uh, as a joker in the mirror for for some time was really fascinating and uh, i really enjoyed uh, shooting that bit lovely um so coming back to you you're always known to pick up something from the uh, people that you work with what is it about akshar and dhanush that you really learned while filming that you thought was great well, as newcomers I'm, i've always been a great admirer of the southern film industries mm. discipline their management skills their professionalism uh, and they've been perfect examples of that um just be simple um uh, be respectful to uh, the profession and uh, be disciplined i guess uh, that's what we pick up but even otherwise i think there are many qualities that actors keep uh, searching hmm. uh, quite unconsciously i don't know what it is i i i, I do believe there's some separate computer that works in your actors minds and hmm. uh, when we move in public you know when i'm talking to you there may be something of yours which may have entered my mind and many months many years later somehow it just clicks in your brain oh there was this journalist that i was doing an interview with and her hair was made like this or she was wearing this kind of jewelry and these kind of shoes and and she, this is the how way she spoke and somehow it just comes out i don't know i i don't know but there is you feel that sometimes we we quite unconsciously you know Grass. record in our brain, in our brains and it mm. it just remains there and, and suddenly when you're doing a performance it just was out mm-hmm. on its own i think so observation does kind yeah. of get into actors we we live uh, we live on observation mm-hmm. it's not deliberate it's very unconscious you know wherever we go to any any uh, any kind of a, a, a moment where there are people and there's something else happening mm-hmm. other than enjoying what is actually happening there's sometimes something is working in our brain uh, how did that chap walk or how did mm-hmm. he speak True. or I don't know. That's how I guess where you get your characters inspiration from from people yeah, I think that we, you yeah, see. Yeah, it's it's, it's more life. observation than anything. Else. And it's mm. not there are many actors who actually deliberately go out and observe them. Mm. If, if somebody has to play a, a mentally challenged person, they would go to a mental institute and see how they work and that's fine. But uh, it's also quite possible that, you know, you may have met somebody who was mentally challenged and that had remained in your mind. I don't know. What what was your uh, what inspiration did you use for a character in this movie? Do we see? I left that to Bel Balki. You know, he gave mm-hmm. me all the instructions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is how he is. This is what he's going to wear. This is what he's going to look like. This is how he's going to walk, lie down, speak. Was there anything life challenging made. about portraying what he wanted? Every to role do? is challenging. You know, it's uh, mm. um, everyone thinks it's the simplest thing to do. It isn't. The simplest things are the hardest things to do. Mm-hmm. It's very difficult to. remain simple in front of the camera all the best for the movie releasing and we hope it is a great success we look forward to shambhita thank, thank you thank you for your good wishes